time for a small update. Uh, first of all, thanks everyone for the comments on last movie and a lot of thumbs up. Mm, let me show you what I've done in the last one and a half month. The machine completely have been trimmed and the gaps that were between those trimming surfaces have been filled with epoxy. As you can see here on the head. After that, the wake offers have been installed. Those are bellow types covers uh, with stainless steel sheets on top of it to prevent dirt getting inside of the bellows. Um, the bottom part of the enclosure have been made. It's a stainless steel bucket. It will um, collect all the coolant water and the chips and on each side there is a, a drain. There will be a filter in it to keep most of the chips inside of the enclosure and from there the coolant with maybe some smaller chips will go to the coolant tank that I want to place underneath the frame. On top of this bucket I want to bolt the top part of the enclosure so it's easily to remove if I ever need to get somewhere inside the machine so this part of the enclosure can always just stay on. Mm, I want to show you guys the tool changer of which I said I'm gonna build later. I decided to just build it right now. So after the machine was able to make parts, the first real parts I made were parts for the tool changer. It's completely made of aluminium. There's this big arm made of steel tubing to hold the whole tool changer. It's an 18 position uh, umbrella style tool changer driven by a 400 watt servo with a 1 to 10 reduction and then there will be a 1 on 2 belt reduction to spin the disc. There's a pneumatic cylinder to push the carousel in and out like all the tool changes work. It's almost done. I need to make some brackets for the home, s home sensor so it knows where the disc is. Made the belt connection. And then I can start working on the macro that will control the tool changer. Mm, yeah, that's more or less it for now. Uh, next movie will be about a uh, working tool changer, I guess and maybe some machining movies with the tool changer in action.